Hey friend, welcome to the Badass is the New Black podcast, where our motto is done is better than perfect. I'm Chrissy Chin here on a mission to help you grow your business online, turn your leads into lifelong customers and scale to six figures and beyond so you can work less and enjoy and earn a whole lot more. Most importantly, I'm a laid back wife, a mom, a friend who started as a peds nurse, turned network marketer, and now a serial entrepreneur. This podcast is for ambitious people with an idea, a vision, but no idea how to get there. On this podcast, I'll give actionable steps to keep you moving forward while you learn new business strategies, better systems and processes, marketing, sales, all the things you need to build and scale a blissful business that keeps your pocketbooks growing. Grab a beverage, open up your notes app, and let's get to it. Courtney Taylor, best known as the modern day psychic, blends her diverse background in social work, psychic mediumship, and numerology to empower women on their spiritual journey. With a deep understanding of the human psyche and a profound connection to the spiritual realm, Courtney's unique approach bridges the gap between traditional therapy and intuitive guidance. As a world-renowned celebrity psychic, Courtney's intuitive insights have touched the lives of countless individuals around the globe. Her ability to connect with the spirit realm and channel messages from beyond has earned her a reputation as one of the most sought-after psychics in the industry. From Hollywood stars to everyday seekers, Courtney's guidance has provided clarity, validation, and healing to clients from all walks of life. Courtney, I am so excited to have you here on the podcast. Uh, it's been it's been a long time coming, I think. It has. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to have this conversation today. I love it. Before we dive into numerology and using it to create better business strategy, work more efficiently, let's share with the audience a little bit of how we met, because I always think it's fun to find out how people get connected. I talk a lot about collaboration, mm -hmm. about teaming up together, but I'm always curious, like, hmm, how did you guys originally meet? Was there like a cold DM or what? So yeah. we met at a retreat. I feel like that was almost, was it two years ago? Over two it years was. ago? Oh my God. 2022. I'm yeah. I'm just <laughs> flying by. Yeah. This was like post pandemic. It was like, must have interaction with people. And it was like, <laughs> go to this retreat. And I didn't know you at, I didn't even know of you at the time, but I showed up to Ashley Gordon's retreat and you were there and then come to find out. I don't even know if it was right away, but it's like, oh my gosh, like Courtney's a celebrity. Like Courtney <laughs> works with celebrities, Courtney's a celebrity. We have a celebrity psychic amongst us. Like it was just really cool, but you were just so friendly. And so, um, you know, it wasn't like, uh, it was like, I felt like you were untouchable or anything. Like you were just so nice and welcoming and all of that. So I'm so glad I met you there. And we've done a few more things together. I wrote in your, an article for your magazine, Next Level, gosh, a while back. I know that's on pause right now as it's getting some exciting things are happening and then it's going to come back. But yeah, we've, you know, we've just stayed in touch over the time. So I just like people to know, you know, there's, there's lots of ways you can meet people to start their relationship. And we've been, we've been connected ever since two years ago. Yeah. I'm so glad that we met. It was such a fun retreat. It was exactly what I needed. Actually, it's funny Same. looking back at even my numerology, like why that all was impactful and you meeting you was such a gift. I'm so glad that we connected and we've stayed in touch and we've been able to collaborate on a couple of different projects. It's been so fun. I've loved watching you just kind of over this time, like over two years. And I think this is also great for people to hear, like you have shifted and adjusted how you not, not fully how you've shown up because you've always been authentic online, but your offerings and, and kind of getting clarity on what you're talking about. And I've just seen this evolution happen and what you're doing now just feels super aligned. I'm super interested in the topic, which is why I wanted to bring you on. And I know it's going to be really powerful and impactful for the audience. So should we just dive in? Let's do it. Do you want to share? I mean, I gave like your amazing bio before. Is there anything else that you think the audience needs to know before we dive into numerology about like, your you know what I found and how long you've been doing this? Yeah. You know what? I just, what you just said was so powerful. Like really it landed for me. We, 
I think so many times in the online space, whatever we're doing in business, we always feel like we need to stay so committed to where we started. But the beauty is, is that we grow and we change and we evolve and do, and things do shift. And so when you said, you know, when you first met me, I was very focused on psychic development. That's where I spent the first 10 years of my career is helping people tap into their intuition because we all have access to that. And the really cool thing is that I've been able to niche it down even further in the space and, and now focusing on numerology. Now, numerology is still very much a part of the psychic development, but it's niche down and a lot of people get so afraid, right? Oh my God, I don't want to niche down too much, but mm -hmm. wow, niching down you know, further and really embracing this part of my work and my gift has been so overwhelmingly exciting and successful for me. So if anything, I really hope that people can find the permission to shift and make changes um, and really like follow what feels good because we're going to shift and evolve. Yes. Oh my God. I love it. There's a reason why we have a little mini course called the riches are in the niches <laughs> or good. No, it's called get rich with your niche is actually what it's called. Yes. Um, but because it is so true and that's, and I, that's a huge testament and, and validation for why our first business was so successful. So fast speaking to the young mm -hmm. living essential oils community, like we knew it who they were, where they were. And it was very, very niche. And now KNC creative is a bit broader. So it's almost like, man, I wish we were like super, super niche, which we could go um, super mm -hmm. niche. But yeah, I think people are really afraid to kind of hone in and really just who's that perfect customer they want to speak to, mm -hmm. or that one topic they just really want to dive deep into with people. Um, so I love that you're just giving people permission to a evolve, like it's okay. Shift, change, evolve. We're human. We do that naturally. And don't be afraid to go really specific because it's actually really beneficial. So love that. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's dive into numerology and, and I know a little bit, so I'm just going to sort of ask questions that I am curious to know too, but yes. I don't know very much. So if someone out there is like me listening and you're like, okay, I've heard of numerology before, but what really is it? Let's give the listeners and myself some uh, more knowledge basis on that. Yes. So numerology has been around for a long time, like centuries and centuries. It goes back really far. I mean, think about it. Numbers is something that every culture, every country, everybody uses. It's, it's a universal language. And numerology shows us and teaches us that every single number, one to nine, has a specific energetic frequency to it. Something that we need to learn, something that we can better understand ourselves through, different themes for us to embody in our world. And so when I actually, a little bit of context, why I actually came into numerology, because I think it's so relevant. I, last year, 2023, I was at the beginning of my brand new cycle, my year one. I felt like I was, I was so lost. I was like, what's wrong with me? Why is nothing working anymore? I don't understand. And I know so many of your listeners have also been there where they feel like they've tried all the things. And I was actually for my magazine interviewing another numerologist who was our cover girl. And she was like, you need to you need to study numerology. It's going to change your life. So I did. I was sick in bed with pneumonia and I fell in love with this practice. And for the last, oh my, over a year now, I have been really going intense with numerology and applying it to everything from productivity to understanding why things are happening in my life. And it's been so helpful for people to understand where to put their energy, where to focus. And also, again, that permission to know that like, I'm not doing anything wrong. I have to go through certain things in life before I can have the bigger thing so we can hold it. And mm -hmm. so numerology has given me this beautiful permission and other people, in my world's permission to just be where they are and to lean in and to embrace what's happening. So in numerology, every single number, like I said, one to nine has a specific meaning. And I would love to go through those meanings really quick because for anybody listening, yeah. they're going to, this is going to be so helpful. Yeah. And I want to preface it and say that there are a couple of different numbers within your numerology chart that these numbers will show up. And I want to go over a, a, a couple of the really important ones today. But essentially, when you're working with a one energy, it is new beginnings. You're being initiated into something brand new, like me last year. I wasn't supposed to understand anything. I was supposed to be in this initiation phase. In your year two or in one of your two energies, you're focused on collaboration. You're focused on uh, building relationships and healing dynamics with in the people that are in your world. In a three energy, we're focused on self-expression and speaking our truth and healing our inner child. 
And then we go into four energy that's about systems and foundations and putting rituals and organizing ourselves into place so that we can see the long-term success. We go into five energy that's focused on play and transmuting pain and shifting into change, allowing change to be in your space and learning how to be adaptable. We work with the six energy and it's focused on home and responsibilities and health. And then we go into seven energy that's about planning and organizing and deepening your own inner compass, which is a big year. And then we go into eight energy that's focused on money and power and success, which let me just say universally, we're in an eight year, which is why everybody is sort of feeling stuff coming up around money, success, power, old outdated wounds connected to money. It's all coming up this whole entire year. Oh, that and then hits we go, hard. <laughs> doesn't it? Doesn't that's it? True. Yeah. yeah. Right. Gut punch. <laughs> right. 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 And that's not even our personal number. That's just collectively right. what we're experiencing, which is why we're seeing so many things happen in the online space around these like fast ways to make money and quick ways to, to, you know, mm all these different organ like ways to make money online. Now that's why it's so highlighted right now. And the next year we close out the cycle. We're going to be closing up this whole nine year chapter. And the nine is full of endings. It's time for us to let go. It's time for us to say, I can't take this into the next chapter. So when we look at these numbers, there is room for us in this to understand our cycles, where we are. And, um, actually it might even be fun to see where you are in your cycle. Let's to, do to it. Because yeah. as you were saying, I was like, oh, I feel like I'm there. I was like, I wonder if that's my number right now. So I'd be curious. Yes. And um, I think it's helpful for people to know how to calculate this too. Yeah, let's do it. So let's jump in. So in order to calculate your personal year number, which is the number that embodies the themes and the energy that you're supposed to navigate for this entire year, you're going to add your um, month of your birth. Should I, should I share what number I thought? Like, Oh, I wonder if I, I'm tell me my... after, tell okay. me after okay. I'm, I'm cause I do want to know, but I want to see if this lands first. So okay. we're going to add, what is the month of your uh, birthday? What birth, what's your birthday? April. So with four. Yep. Yep. The day of your birth. 11. Okay. And then we add that to the number eight. And that's because we're in a universal year eight. So that's how we so get that it. would so be then, 15. Like, am I doing four plus 11, which is 15 and then plus eight? That's right. 15 okay. plus eight. Yep. Yeah. So then he comes to 23. Yep. Yeah. And then we reduce that to a single digit. So you're in a personal year five. So, okay. Okay. So this year, let me tell you quickly about what this year is. And then I'm curious to see what you kind of come up with, but this is actually a very expansive year. This year is about networking. This year is about, is very expansive. It's very creative and it's rooted in play. So the strategy actually in the five energy is adventure, go and explore, go play. And you might even feel like when you're at the lake or you're away, like you really feel like you're recharging your battery, but you're here to learn about being flexible and to learn how to be adaptive this year. That is the gift that this year is teaching you. Okay. I mean, that resonates. I'm what was two, two. So I think you're a life path too. I think that's why that resonates because I'm pretty what sure was it again. It is focused on collaborations and relationships okay. and partnerships. So, and that kind of ties into five where you like five, where you taught, you talked just a little bit about networking. So yeah. I think that's why I was drawn to two, because right now I'm in this community called the Mixer Mind. Y'all, if you've been listening to the podcast, you've heard me talk about, it. I've had a bunch of the girls in there on here. So I've been doing a ton of collaborating, a ton of networking, but then all of the other things that you said around five really resonated as well. Like leaning into that play with the choose fun brand launching that I'm helping my husband mm -hmm. with and all of that. That's right. So that's yeah. right. Well, this is the thing, right? That's you may feel someone may be listening to this and go that resonates for me. And the reason why is because you somewhere else in your core numbers in your chart will have that energy. So it mm -hmm. will land for you, whether that's a personal month cycle, or you're going through that in a daily cycle. There's so many cycles within numerology that we can hear, we can be here to learn. Um, but I am pretty sure that you're a life path too. I think I had done a post once on Instagram and you had commented yes, that you yes. were a life path too. And that's why it resonates because the gift of the life path too is someone who is here to work on relationship building and you helping others in relationship building is your gift. So there are so many ways that we can better understand ourselves through numerology, which is really cool and really, really fun. 
Mm -hmm. I love that. And if you're someone listening who loves like these personality quizzes or um, human design or numerology is just from my understanding and correct me if I'm wrong, just another one of those things to dive in to learn more about yourself. And then what's really magical is when you take that information and you lean in to use it to your advantage, right? Instead of like forcing against it, which is then where things like really go wrong. If you can lean into that cycle that you're in, which is what I'm gathering what you're saying, you can lean in and leverage that and use it. And we'll talk more about how to do that. Um, then that's where the magic can really happen. Or you could have these quantum leaps in, in you know, right. what you're focusing on and working on. One thought that I had when you're like going through the years and nine years, and I was thinking like, oh, dang, if I'm at, you know, you said I'm at year five. So like, if I want to go to year four, do I have to wait nine years to really work on that stuff in that, in that section? That was one little thought that came into my mind. Yeah. And that's a great question. And no, because the cool thing is, is that you'll experience the four energy in another part of your cycle. You're going to experience that within your monthly cycles. I mean, we're just scratching the surface here with a yearly cycle. And it's one of my favorite numbers to look at, but when I'm with my clients or working with people, we really look at like the month, like, are you in a four month? If you are, the strategy is going to be to work on your systems and go back to mm. basics and, and so there's so much that we can learn about where to put our energy. And like, for example, if you're in a year six, you're probably not going to feel very connected to work. You're going to feel like you're being pulled to home. I want to work on my health. I want to find a new natural path. I want to, you know, you might feel like someone else in your family might be needing your attention. So six, for example, is a year where you're not really as focused on business. So when we get into those moments where we feel like, oh, it's not working, or I just don't feel connected to it, there's this is a really great way to explain maybe why. And as you mentioned, when we work with the energy versus against it, we can see such great results because we literally have this like beautiful roadmap and it is another modality for us to deepen and learn. And I say, you know, I love all the modalities out there, astrology, human design. It's so fun. But what I love about numerology is how simple it is. Cause once you start mm -hmm. to really learn what each number means one to nine, and you understand the characteristics that come with it, you can apply it to every part of your life. And so it's just really simple, um, in my opinion, when it comes to modalities. Okay. Can you give me an example? When you said you can apply it to every part of your life, I was thinking like, Ooh, yeah. if you could give me an example of that, that would really yeah. help me like grasp it. I think a little bit better. Yeah, for sure. So one of the things that I've been talking a lot about, which I'm really excited to be bringing to the space is talking about numbers in terms of your daily cycle. So we actually have a daily cycle, meaning that every single day has a specific vibe. So today is a day three for me. It's a perfect day for me to be on podcasts and doing interviews because it's a day of self-expression. So in terms of productivity, which I'm excited to be sharing this for, um, each day when we understand what to kind of do strategically, we can better utilize our time and kind of ditch those to-do lists. So a day four, as I mentioned, is very focused on structures and systems. It's a great day for you behind the scenes to be working on your business. Right. Um, like that's when day, you dive into our like build a blissful business. You're like, okay, today yes. I dive in and work on those systems and getting my funnels set up and all of that. Yes. Yes. That is like the energy. And from my experience seeing people in that energy, they're like, I want to get stuff done. Right. So that's one thing on a day one, for example, it's a day of authority building. It's a day for leadership. So it would be a great day to film content or go live on Instagram um, and really position yourself as that authority figure because you have that energy backing you up to support you. Um, so every day has something very specific that you can work with. And if you want to calculate that number, it's super simple. The number that you calculated earlier with your birthday for your personal year, you're going to add that to the date. So let's use today as an example, June, which is the six we're recording on June 13th. Today is the sixth month. It's the 13th day. So you would add six plus 13. And then for you, Chrissy, we would add five to that because it, that is your personal year number. And that'll actually give you what today's today's vibe is today's frequency. Okay. So six plus 13 is 19 and then plus five, 24. And then you add the two and the four together to be six. 
you just add it all together. Yep. So it's six. So you're in a six day. So you might feel like there's a lot of home stuff going on today. Home stuff, you're being pulled in different directions at home, responsibility. Um, again, some health stuff can come up in six energy, but it's very rooted in what's happening at home. From a business perspective, though, when we are working in business, it's rooted in community. So if people are in six energy and they're running a business and they're like, hey, well, I don't want to show up and do all the things, come back to community building, come back to focus on nurturing your community and building relationships. So every single number has a specific strategy with it, which is really easy to kind of follow and kind of, you know, feel into um, as a process. Yeah. Okay. I love that. And, and I like that last tidbit that you shared, like, okay, you're in this, this six energy, which is home base, but you have to show up in your business because maybe you're like, y'all, this is my designated working day. Maybe you have childcare on that day. Cause it's a regular thing. And you're like, I can't, you know, sh shift out of my numbers. So I love that you kind of gave that idea of like, well, if you have to be in your business, then find the area in your business that you can slide into that is aligned to the community building with that. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's amazing. Ooh. Yeah. So it's a fun process, a way for you to kind of, for, I know for me personally, Chrissy, I was always obsessed with like, I would want to get so much done and then I wouldn't feel like it. I'd be like, I just don't feel like it today. Mm -hmm. And then when I started to map this out, I call it cycle mapping. As soon as I started to do the cycle mapping, I realized that there were days that I was going to have access to more energy versus others. And now I literally plan everything around it. If I have to book mm -hmm. a podcast, I have to book an interview, something I'm doing it on days that are very strategic. Cause I know I'll have the energy to support me in it. Yes. Oh, I love that. I've been like, when you say cycles, I automatically think of like the female cycle, yeah, right. Nice. And like working around your menstrual cycle. Like I've dove into that a little bit. And, and when I do list, like track that, listen to it, lean into that. I am so much more productive. It's like on those, mm -hmm. like, you know, days leading up to before where it's like, I am so slow and so sluggish and like, do not want to like go into like, heavy productivity mode. Um, it makes a big difference. So mm -hmm. I can just see like, if it, if that makes a difference there, like these other, like going into your daily numbers and, and following that is good. So how far, so I suppose you can set up your calendar pretty far in advance. If you're mm -hmm. going based off of your birthday, the calendar month and the calendar day, right. Yep. Then you can like, that's not changing. Right. So you can, right. So you can then sit down. Um, so what would be your recommendation? I'm like already thinking through like, okay, what is the system in the process to be super efficient to like track my days and like mark them down and plan out my, um, y'all yes. are not a planner by nature at all. And so <laughs> the only way for me to stay organized in business is to like really dive into some of these methods of trying to plan somewhat. So I kind of love this yep. because it will help me as a non-planner who could be all over the place, stay yep. focused and lean into that. Um, so what's your strategy in terms of how, like how, and when you sit down to figure these out and start planning? Yeah. So super simple. There's a couple of things that I de definitely recommend people try. So first off I go into Canva and I just print out like I just take templates that are, are of the calendar months and I just go and print it and I just write out what no, each day number is and all of the squares. Now that would be my first step, but there's another layer to that. The one of the practices that I get my clients to do is to walk themselves through the one to nine energy personally to see how that lands for them. Because a day one, you'll start to get to know, like, that's my day one energy. That's just, I just know that that's how I'm going to feel. So starting on a day one for you, and then taking yourself through the nine days and journaling it out. How did I feel today? What were some of the themes that came up? What did I feel today? What were some of the things that I went through and watching that for the whole nine days to really understand how you can see yourself in this whole process and what it's going to feel like. And, and right there, once you do those two things and you can just go from there and start printing out some calendars or already using calendars that you have and just writing, going and marking your day, um, using a calculator and marking your day with the, with the calculation that we discussed. Um, and, and then figuring out what those days mean for you. I think that's where you kind of have to start. Cause then it gives you a really good understanding of what one means for you and what six means for you. And then you can just plan from there. Um, and it's really simple once you get yourself started. I love that. So keeping track like your day through, cause it's going to repeat right one through nine, and then it repeats. 
So yeah. keeping track, writing it down, just like if you've ever done like a food journal, like if you're trying to figure out like what foods are bothering me, right? Like you're not eating here, you are. So, okay, this is my day one. Let me keep track how I'm feeling, what, what I naturally want to lean into um, mm -hmm. and all of that so that you can plan, okay, then these are probably the things on a one that I might want to do. And then maybe the next cycle, once you've kind of mapped those out, test it out try yes. it and see. And if you're like, yes, that felt really good. I felt really energized doing that. Um, and was productive in that area or made good connections or whatever. Um, then maybe that fits for you. And if it doesn't, then maybe go back to the drawing board and write down, okay, I didn't feel so great about this. Maybe what are some other ideas? That's right. That. That's okay, right. Yeah. Super amazing. easy. I know it's so fun. Super fun. Well, this has been incredible. Is there anything else? So there's the, the, you said the universal numerology number, like what we're all kind of in. And then there's the year and yep. then in our personal, so our personal year cycle and what year we are in, and then really down to the day in this nine day cycle uh, that's repeating. So that's those, right. I mean, I imagine there's even more beyond that, or is that as simple as it really gets? So the only other thing that really, when we look at transits and cycles, uh, you can even look at the month number. So that number is really relevant too. Um, and so we go as far as like the year, which is like the longer term, then we have a mm -hmm. whole month vibe and then we have our daily vibe. Okay. Um, so the month energy is just calculated by adding the month to your personal year. So for you, you're in a month six, actually, I think, because you're we're a six plus five. No, six plus five is 11. Yeah, it is 11. That's okay. Right. So you're in a, you're in a month too. You're in a month too. Okay. So this whole month for you, that's probably why you were feeling some of that two energy because mm -hmm. you're in a month too. So all of June for you is focused on collaborations, expanding your mission through other people. You're very affected by what's happening with people outside of you. Like, it's almost like you're sitting back and observing and you're moving how other people are moving. Mm -hmm. Um, and this whole month is about you deepening relationships. So the strategy this month for you is to continue networking and collaborating and to expand your mission through other people. Um, and the next month you'll have, as soon as we go into July, it's going to be a month for you. That's in the energy of three. It's going to be about expanding your mission and, uh, your creativity, like creativity is going to be the strategy. So when are you guys launching your other company? August 1st. Okay. So that's going to be a four month, which is about systems and creating new opportunities and putting everything in place for long-term. So that also just makes so much sense with where you are. I love it. So intuitively y'all I've gotten, I've gotten there because I do feel like this month I had like, even yesterday I was messaging with Nicole, who's our project manager. Maybe some of you guys know her, if you've been in the support inbox, she's amazing. And I was just like, all right, let's get, you know, really strategic on who we, cause I've had all of these amazing coffee chats with people to get to know them and understand their business. And Hey, how can we support each other? And how can we collab? And then I was sort of feeling like it was like, we did these calls and then it was like falling through the cracks. Like, Oh wait, I have mm -hmm. to remember to like follow up and like, Oh, you said I could be on your podcast. Let's get that ball rolling, right? Because we can't always rely on the other person to to send us the link to get started, right? They're busy. They have other things. Yeah. And so um, some people have been really amazing with it and some people haven't. I'm like, okay, I, I don't want this these efforts to be wasted. Let's just say, I mean, that's like kind of like cold, feels kind of cold to say, but I don't want these efforts to be wasted. So let's come up with a better plan on how we can leverage all of these collaborations that we're doing this month. Cause I've had extra this month, I feel like, of course. um, and like podcast recordings and things like that. How can we make sure that we stay on top of this? So we don't just make this connection and then fall through the cracks. And also like that will prevent us from to be able to support other people better as well too. Like, Hey, I said I could bring Stacy on the podcast. Let's make sure we send her that link so that she can come on. So I feel like that's definitely this month has really been focused on what's going on with other people and, and like adjusting and shifting based on right. How they're responding or how they're not and keeping track with things. So that really tracks. Yeah. See, it's, it's, it's been so helpful to better understand like how to move. And like you even said, like I've 
been able to support other people better in my personal life too, because I understand where they are in their cycle. So it's, it's mm -hmm. really helpful if you can at least, and, and there's so many more layers that I look at the brand, your branding number. There's so many cool pieces to numerology. We could talk forever about it, but if you're listening, start with looking at these cycle numbers connected to your transit. So your personal year, what month you're in and what day you're working with. If you can align yourself to that energy, it's going to change your life. Like it really will. It's going to be really helpful to get strategic and to get focused and to put your energy in places that will continue to take you forward closer to the dream, closer to the goal. As you were like talking about some of that, I was thinking about Claire and I, like we have a partnership. So like what happens when we're like, we're both in two totally different numbers um, so that was just sort of what I was thinking, like looking at the two of us and how can we maybe, I don't know if it's like a divide and conquer, like, okay, you're in this cycle and I'm in this cycle. And how can we bring that together to be even more magical? Um, because there's, there's difference, right? If I'm like, Hey, I want to work on systems. And she's like, not in that cycle. You know, we have to find like a balance. Yeah. So this is actually where I've been doing a lot of really big corporate trainings, which has been so fun for me and my two energy. I'm leading stuff on team building right now with numerology. So that's been really cool. Um, but that's the reality, right? That we have, we are going to be in different parts of our cycles, but, and I know we didn't cover this today, but let your life path number is actually where you will find more about your compatibility. Um, because your life path number is what's going to make your personal year cycle unique to you because it's, that really is what your purpose is, what you're here to understand your challenges, your opportunities. So, um, I think when I looked at you, both of your numbers last time, you guys are actually in alignment. I'm pretty sure that she was a life path. I, I think can't she said remember. Me. I can't, I can't remember what her as well as I'll have to go back and look. Yeah. So, um, there is, I, it's more the life path number that we look at in terms of compatibility when it comes to cycles, those are very much more personal. Um, and so it's less about figuring out how to navigate the way that people are feeling. I look at more so the, like your characteristics of how you operate the energy that you operate in. So mm -hmm. we'd love to do a reading with you sometime and to look at, you know, even with Claire, we could bring her in and like, we could do mm -hmm. a d dynamic thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think just having an understanding also more of what cycle am I in, maybe someone else that you're communicating with, like you said, like is not in the same cycle. So like maybe giving them a little bit more grace, whether it's a business yes. partner or, you know, a client or, you know, your spouse or your partner or your kid or like whoever, just knowing and understanding, yes. like you're at different, you're at different places. So maybe they can't be roped in to do the exact same thing that you're doing, or they're going to, yeah. you know, not be as energetic as you. Yeah. So, oh, exactly. So you know, what I've noticed though, is that more often than not, a lot of people in my world are also in the same energy that I am. And oftentimes that's why you'll have people in your life. You're like, I feel like they just get it because they're moving through very similar themes, things in their world. And so honestly, I would say the majority of people in my intimate space are also in a year two, which mm -hmm is just so interesting. So there's, I mean, there's gifts in that. And then there's also challenges in that because whatever there's no good or bad in numerology, everything has such duality. So, you know, when we're in the shadow part of it, you might be bumping heads with someone else in a relationship dynamic year. That's also in a dynamic year. Um, but yeah, there is a lot to learn about where you are in your cycle and there's so many codes in numerology. It's, it's fascinating. It really is. I love that. I know you have a free gift for us. Does this free gift include like the, the calculations we just did? Cause whoever's yeah. listening in the car, they're like, I'm not going to remember that. Yeah, for sure. So that's actually, well, I can give you, I will give you the um, calculations so you can include them in the show notes, but I have a free course that I'm gifting you guys. And it is introduction to personal year cycles. So it is a three part audio training. Um, it takes you through what each number means. So deepens what I shared today with you, Christy, it gives you how to implement it in your life and how to figure out your calculation. So I'm giving that to you as a really great way to dive in and to start utilizing at least your personal year cycle. Perfect. Amazing. So if you're like, I'm not going to remember those calculations and I need to dive deeper, I'd really sit down and figure out my numbers, grab this mini course. I will put the link in the show notes and below this video. If you're watching on YouTube, 
Courtney, where can, where can everyone find you connect with you? I'm sure this is like stirring a lot of thoughts and maybe questions. So what, where's the best place to connect and kind of follow along and to continue learning about using numerology to help them in their life and business? Yeah. So my DMS are always open. I'm over on Instagram at I'm Courtney Taylor. You can also visit my website, the Courtney All of the information on my programs and, and all the things are on there. This was so much fun. Thank you so much. Yes. I'm so glad you're here. I feel honored to have you on the podcast. I feel so blessed to be your friend and to have stayed in touch for this long and be a part of, you know, your community as well. And so I'm just really excited and proud of you for, you know, how far, you know, you've, you've just been amazing since the day that I've met you and just, you know, working through and just figuring out how can you show up and serve people best. Um, and I can just really feel that energy from you. So I just want to thank you for, for doing that and showing up for all of us. It, it really means a lot. Oh, Chrissy, thank you so much. You're such a gift. And I'm so grateful for our friendship. So, so much love for you. Amazing. If you're tuning in today and you found some value out of this, please leave a review on the podcast, or you can also leave us questions or comments in the comments of the YouTube video. That's it for now. Go out there and take some imperfect action until next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you got some value out of this episode, I would love some support. And the best way to do that so I can keep showering you with loads of actionable tips is to hit that subscribe button, leave a review or a comment if you're on YouTube and share this podcast with a friend. And when you share it with a friend on social, please tag me so I can reshare your share in my stories. It's been an absolute pleasure hanging out. I appreciate the heck out of you for showing up. And now it's time for you to take imperfect action so you can work less and enjoy and earn a whole lot more.